destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain out of that subscribe button so that we can get to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Avery LR32 here, and I want to talk about the market because Darkwing Blast, the premiere, is next weekend at the time of me making this video, and it's been catching up with me. So smash that like and subscribe button and that ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell so that we can get there. Be sure to be sharing the videos around. I don't care if you got one subscriber or 4,000. Please share the channel and the videos around. I really do appreciate it a lot. So let's dive on into the market here because really the market is a bit interesting to look at with the cusp of a premiere right around the corner. If you want to get boxes on pre-sale of Darkwing Blast, you're looking at about $71 and then $5 for packs. Obviously, these will go down a little bit uh, after the pre-sales. I've already made a video talking about why you should not be buying sealed of this set. There are good cards in this set. You have things like Spellbound. You have the Goaty cards if for whatever reason you want to pick those up. You have the Blackwing stuff, but you can get better value, more bang for your buck if you buy those as singles or if you want the Blackwing stuff buying like a core where you get three of everything for just one flat price. You know, it's not going to benefit you to get a case of Darkwing Blast because it's not like Power of the Elements where there was just so much money to be made. Speaking of Power of the Elements, we're going to get back to Magnificent Mavens in a second here. Uh, let's talk about the prices here. God, Ultimate Slayers fell so hard. I'm, I'm glad I sold mine when I did. DPE is at over 300. Uh, Primeval Planets at $85. These things were at 99. They were right there. They were knocking on Heaven's Door of $100. They have calmed down to the $85 mark, but do not let this fool you because this deck is going to be tier zero once we get the milling support out of Magnificent Mavens. So if you haven't picked these up yet or you've been holding on to them, continue to hold on to them because they're going to be good. Ultimate Slayers, uh, regular secret rares are about 40 bucks. Honestly, if you could pick these up and just hold on to my wood. Guru is at 23s. God, I remember when these were 8s. Elves are now 22s. I remember when these were 5s. Uh, Kit Kallus is 7s. Even uh, Kaleido Heart is like going up to the $4 mark. Gigantic Sprite's almost at 3s. So much money in this set. Sprite Blues at 52s. Hey, that rhymes. Uh, God, how the mighty have fallen. I remember when Blues were almost 100 bucks. Booster boxes are still $77. Jesus. Now, with that being said, Magnificent Mavens boxes right now, like just for one, you're looking at $40. Now, I do not believe that this is anywhere near the MSRP price. And the fact that displays are actually $130, I think is pretty good. Now, if you want something to pick up uh, just sealed product of, Magnificent Mavens is going to be the set to do that. Because this set is going to be insane, especially with how much stuff you get in this set. Like, keep in mind, you don't just get packs of cards. You get sleeves, too. Like, you get a lot of stuff in this box. And, like, I feel like it really does warrant the MSRP behind it. Um, so if you want to pick these up sealed and even just hold on to them sealed, I would definitely go with it because there's there's going to be value in this set. I guarantee you that. Plus, too, I, if I remember correctly, we also have an access code talker reprint in this set. Let's talk about Black Wings, aka, as I saw someone on Pojo years ago say, uh, Crack Wings. <laughs> You're looking at uh, basically 60 bucks for Turbo Pack Booster for Soraka's. It's only a super rare, I mean, I guess. Um, Armor Master Starfoils are 25s. Vayu Ultras are 12s. Secrets are 15s. Ultimate Rare Vayus. Jesus Christ, hit me with this. Near Mint Unlim for $60. I don't fucking believe this. I think someone just didn't take down their uh, their storefront. I think that this person's probably offline. Light Plate Unlim, you're looking at 89 on up to 90 That's actually not terrible for an Ultimate Rare. And I would imagine that Black Wings would play this. This thing's a non-once per turn. It was disgusting back in the day. Surely it's still disgusting now. Y'all Black Wing players are going to have to let me know down in the comments. Near Mint Unlim Italian for 160 Light Play First for 170 Hit me with that Near Mint English. Oh my god. Near Mint Unlims 274s. Near Mint First Edition, $300. Woo! You are paying for that crispy cream Ancient Prophecy goodness. What is going on here in Ancient Prophecy? Unlimited box for over $500. Eat my ass. The special editions are $50. Packs are 55 
ultimate rare ancient fairies are they're probably not 20 that's probably for one that someone farted on and chewed on uh you're probably looking at near mint for like 55 armatile secrets are nines wyvern secrets are tens white knight dragons these things are are finally moving when a spell or track card targets this card is activated negated it's activation and destroy it when a face up monster you control is selecting as attack target you can change the attack target to this card by sending one spell or trap you control to the graveyard to change the target to this card i had to look back at the actual artwork what the fuck damage unlimb for 15 light play unlimb for almost 18 dollars near mint unlimb 21 the fuck near mint hit me with that first edition near mint first edition 27 plus 5 shipping and then you're up to 90 dollars. then you're up to 150s what do these cap out at 500 dollars for a secret rare white knight dragon bro y'all need to go swipe these up like five minutes ago like literally there is no reason once this one's gone assuming that the storefront's not offline you're looking at 90 dollars for a near mint first edition white knight dragon wow jesus so crystal beast because i want this deck to be good so bad but like it loses so hard to nibiru um the ultra rares here from force of the breaker are actually like five bucks i went went and did digging on this because they say dollar 75 but now it's just five bucks uh ultis for tigers are like what 35s hit me with this damage unlimited for 32 all these mods mod plays light play unlim for basically 55 and change 60 what, what's a near mint near mint unlim is 70 120 basically 121 dollars for near mint first edition for a one of i mean honestly no just because of the fact that like if you're gonna go down that route then you also have to get sapphire pegasus ultimate rare and these things are disgustingly expensive damaged first edition is almost a hundred dollars light plate unlim is 112 like you're not even getting that near mint first edition 150 for unlim oh my god is there not even a first edition mod play first edition 200 Light play first, 300 Oh, Jesus. Near mint first edition, $313. And these things cap out at $800. You're looking at $300. You're basically looking at $900 to almost $1,000 for a play set of Ultimate Rare Sapphire Pegasus. Please don't do that to your wallet. Please don't. Like, for the love of God, please don't. It's, it's not worth it. It's really not. While we're back here, let's see what Force of the Breaker is doing if this thing wants to load. Ryza Ultis, yeah, those are like 50s. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins, those have fallen the fuck off. Those things are like 50. They're just, they're not used anymore. Shells are, those are probably like actually 20 to 25s. Rare Values have fallen off. Those aren't used anymore. Radicators are 50s for a secret. Okay, I guess. Recurring Nightmares are 12s. What the fuck? All this old shit. Sky Scourge and Norialis is like 24. Commandants, 27s damn um also if you are going to be playing a crystal beast as i just said to not buy ultis if you're going to play rainbow dragon you got to do it right and buy yourself a ghost rare <laughs> so uh damage unlim is 120 please don't do that to yourself uh light play unlim is basically 151 and if you want a near mint i'm just going to skip on over here the near mint near mint unlim is 270 first ed first edition 650 dollars and they cap out at almost a thousand dollars now, I did look up, I'm going to see if I can actually pull it up, Rainbow Dragon, uh, I don't know if it'll pull up though, Rainbow Dragon, uh, Ghost Rare Chaos Neos Misprint, there's one listing, and this is the type of Rainbow Dragon you really want to play if you're a baller, $69,419.70, this motherfucker has the balls the balls ladies and gentlemen to charge 99 cent shipping get the fuck out of here now i did try going on ebay and stuff to see if there is like an actual cheaper listing that isn't you know a car <laughs> um and the cheapest i was able to find was like four thousand dollars for this um so if you want to play crystal beast in like the biggest flex way possible you could be playing one regular ghost rare and then one misprint ghost rare. Obviously, this would be a rainbow dragon. It wouldn't be chaos neos. Um, 
But, I mean, you're looking at a $10,000 deck, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, last but not least, I wanted to look at the 10s just to see kind of where things are. You're looking at 20s on the Lightning Storms. Diviner of the Heralds definitely pick these up because if you're going to play Tier Element or even just like the new milling support, they're all Earth Fairies. So like you can summon Diviner to dump an Aigido, make both players mill five, and Diviner's a tuner, so he gains four star or she gains four stars, whatever the fuck. So it becomes level six, and then you can just summon any level four, make Baroness. It's really disgusting. Crossouts are nines, ashes are twelves, droplets twenty-six, prosperities are still holding the line at $40. Cases of 10s are 170. That's really not bad. Blue Eyes at 16. I would definitely pick this up. Dragoons at 12. That's really good. Incredible Ecclesia at 4 is amazing. Ghost Ogre at 2s. Beautiful. Dark Rulers, $1.50 is beautiful. Ghost Bells, 2s. Nibiru's, $1.35. Small World, 2s. Branded opening, nearly $3. So much good value in this, ladies and gentlemen. So, guys, that is my market watch for today. Please let me know down in the comments what you think about a $69,000 uh fucking ancient fairy dragon so guys or rainbow dragon what the fuck am i saying guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video